Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> That'll teach you. Oh, hey, it's, uh, it's you, buddy. It's Jin, Jinbi. Wasn't that a guy from One Piece? I don't know. But anyway, we should take this moment out to kill him. So now it is truly time for the final battle. I love this music. Now you may be thinking, well, how are you supposed to fight him? Well, you gotta launch him y y by pressing A when, you know, there there are no little there are no little balls. So if you launch yourself like that, you'll just take damage. So uh watch out for that. Now you just gotta keep doing this and you'll be good. I, I love how the this is a game that uh you know it's normal gameplay. Ugh, fuck. It just wouldn't be very conducive to a real final battle. But they managed to pull it off here, and they have some pretty goddamn epic music. Actually, I love all the music in this game. To be honest, it's all pretty great. So all you gotta do is just get them right there, right in the belly. That's how you do it. And one more hit. Yes. Are you dead? God, I love this music. This game is fantastic. Oh, okay, good. Thanks for telling me. I didn't know that. Alright, it's time to do it. Land a final blow. What? Hey, wait a minute. I thought you were going to make that other girl your queen. Become ruler of this kingdom. Okay, they talk a little bit too slow for my taste. And create an empire, presumably. Jeez, you're talking way too slow. Okay, what's... Okay, we're you dead now. Okay, everyone. I hope you. I hope you all feel good about yourself. Oh, hey, Mandela. Uh, it's you again. Wait, are you like the true final boss or something? You're always trolling the prince. I don't like the way that laugh was. Ah, I, I've been trolled. There you go. Doing it again. You just. You just. What's your face again? You've been stalking me this entire time. Oh my god. Wait, why are you in disguise? Uh, and why'd you scam me, you dick? Oh! Huh, that's an interesting plot twist. And you- and I was actually a vulture. But I'm actually not a vulture. I'm actually a broom. Well, you know. Oh. Huh, well, I guess that's a pretty good reason to turn me into a frog. Don't see why you couldn't have told me. You know, they didn't really say too much about the snake killer being used good for killing snakes. Besides actual snakes. No, Richard, fuck you. Nah, we're cool, we're cool, we're good. Final boss is dead, so I guess I can let it go. Just this once. And considering the fact that this game will never be spoken of again in Nintendo policy, I guess I should probably let bygones be bygones. I just hate bygones. Oh, the king. Well, I guess I can be the king. <laughs> oh yeah, I get it. No, it's definitely me. No, no, dude, dude, I just say the fucking day. Back off, Richard. I swear to God, I'll cut you. No, oh, okay, fine. I, I guess now it's time for the true final battle with Richard. There's a word for this kind of ending where everything, where the real final battle is just a normal, regular battle. <laughs> Screw you, I got, I got the, the snake killer and tasty wasabi. You don't even know, man. You don't even know. Watch this. Wait, what do you mean I can't use the wasabi? 
I did not like those. I did not like that being hit. Not one bit, Richard. No, you will stay dead, Richard. You are bad, Richard. With your stupid Pompadour. Go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, crap. God damn it! <laughs> Everything is bad for the prince. Wait, what? What's the point of fighting me then, you dick? God, Richard. I hate you. As king, I deem you okay, I guess. Ah, I like that! Oh! Oh god, these translators are great. They, uh, squeeze in a Monty Python reference. You know, this is really the kind of game that would probably actually say tis but a scratch. Well, I guess I'll see you guys later then. God, always trying to make... always trying to look cool, like the bigger man. You st even in defeat, you make me look terrible, Richard. I hate you. Nah, we're cool, we're cool. No, but seriously, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, it's okay, I guess we're not gonna have a, a nice party. Kinda wanted to have a party with awesome pizza and hookers and maybe even some blow. Well, I guess the princess would not, or the queen rather, wouldn't be thrilled about the hookers, I guess. Well, we can get her some hookers too. Why not? You'll always be an irreplaceable friend. Until, of course, I replace you. Then I guess we're good. Well, I guess we'll see you around, Richard. Or not. Pro probably not, because this game never is spoken by Nintendo again, and it's really a crime because this game kind of made Link's Awakening happen. And now let's watch the credits roll. And here's all to everyone. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, Through the Frog Bell Soul, uh, it's definitely a game that I really wish would have came to America, but it was in 92, and we didn't have good translators yet. Like, we were still trying to get over translating A and B and words like on and with, which are very confusing for translating, I suppose. Um, and it's very unfortunate that this game did not make its way to the States, but some very nice people translated it, and that's pretty well. Um, as far as the graphics go, I really enjoyed them, although they kind of... they aren't very congruent with uh, the portraits of the game. Um, but again, I really think that was like a last second change or something, I don't know. Um, but I enjoy how they never really tried to be something that they're not, um, which made all the graphics very easy to look at, because it's very difficult to tell uh, when a game is trying to be something, or trying to look like something that it can't quite live up to. Um, like Pokemon Red, Blue, or specifically Red and Green is a really good example of that, and it would look like butts. But this looks like not butts, this looks like something pleasant, like a nice, uh, hand. Hands are cool, I guess. But yeah, uh, I really like the plot. They actually managed to squeeze a whole lot of plot into such a little game. And that's, that's pretty swell, I like that. Because, you know, like, Game Boy Engine did not have a lot of dialogue. Well, I guess Link's Awakening did have a fair amount of dialogue, um... But, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, this game is, is pretty swell. It definitely, definitely became one of my more favorite Game Boy games, probably second to, like, Pokemon Gold, I guess. And maybe, like, Dragon Quest Monsters, which we're getting to sooner or later. But, uh, yeah, and I love all the plot twists, too. This game had a sense of humor that appeals to me. I have a grim sense of humor where bad things happen to people for reasons. And I really like the, uh... Yes, I'm taking this moment out to kiss this game's ass, because no one else will. <laughs> but, yeah... This I keep saying it, yeah, because, uh... This is the credits, and I said my piece for the most part. But this game will sadly not have a sequel. 
And I guess this will be the last time the frog's bell will toll. Ooh, what is your question? Um, yeah, pretty much. Tear means he was the opposite of, uh, of Mandela. I like that. That was a cute ending. And so was that, too. See you again, but actually see you never. Because this game did not get a sequel. I heard rumors that he, that the king, or, yeah, the king now might be in Brawl. But, either way, that was Let's Play for the Frog Bells Toll. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it, because I enjoyed playing it a lot. Tell me if you have any good memories, or you want to see more of this game, because it's pretty amazing. And until next time, I'm Laplace, and I'll see you then. Probably not an LP, but a project I've been working on since, like, the beginning of summer. So, I will see you then, and, yeah, see you around, you guys, and stuff.